Hello everyone! Welcome to our tutorial on interpreting satellite data. In the application, you'll find basic, advanced, and radar options. The basic option provides details on irrigation and crop health in a single image. On the analysis scale, green indicates good crop health and irrigation. Orange means crop health needs attention, purple indicates irrigation needs attention, and red means both need attention. White areas show no crop or cloud cover. This is how you use the basic analysis. Click on the advanced option to access NDVI information for early stage crop health. NDVI, or Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, assesses crop health when plants are young and short, up to three feet tall. It identifies areas where crop health is declining or thriving using a color-coded scale, dark green to light green for healthy regions, very light green to light orange for medium health, and dark orange to red for poor health. For crops in their initial stages, such as just sown or 10 to 12 days old, adjust the settings to select a different color map. Instead of the first option, choose the second one for more detailed analysis of short vegetation. After selecting the color map, click Show on Map to see a detailed analysis scale, with zones categorized as good, medium, and bad. This method helps monitor and evaluate crop health when vegetation is short. Let's move on to radar data, useful during cloud cover and rain. We use two indices, RVI Radar Vegetation Index and RSM Radar Soil Moisture. RVI assesses crop health in cloudy weather using a scale similar to NDVI. For irrigation status in these conditions, use RSM, which also has a good medium and bad analysis scale. In settings for the early growth stage, NDVI is available along with EVI, Enhanced Vegetation Index, and SAVI, Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index, for more detailed analysis. SAVI is useful for crops with larger gaps like mango trees. Selecting SAVI and clicking Show on Map displays crop health on the same scale. NDRE, Normalized Difference Red Edge, is for later growth stages when crops are at least three feet tall. It's ideal for dense canopies such as soybean or maize fields where NDVI cannot penetrate. NDRE uses the same analysis scale for these conditions. For irrigation, we have NDWI, NDMI, and evapotranspiration. NDWI, Normalized Difference Water Index, checks plantation water content with good, medium, and bad zones. NDMI, Normalized Difference Moisture. Index indicates soil moisture with a similar scale. Evapotranspiration shows where water is evaporating and transpiring quickly from soil and plants. We also use colored satellite images, enhanced true color imagery showing actual plantations. Green patches indicate plantation regions, while orange patches indicate less height or no plantation. This helps understand crop presence, Another parameter is SOC, soil organic carbon, which checks locations where soil organic carbon is declining, used before sowing and after harvesting. It helps identify where to take soil samples, as low SOC indicates low nutrients, enabling targeted soil testing and nutrient replenishment. DEM, digital elevation model, helps understand terrain variations, high, medium, low, to prevent water logging with color coding for different terrain levels. This helps pinpoint flood-prone areas during heavy rain or excessive irrigation, allowing for preemptive measures like drainage systems. For colorblind farmers, we have a colorblind mode with black and white differentiation. Black indicates areas needing attention, simplifying crop health or water stress assessment. You now know how to interpret satellite data using our mobile application. If you have questions, contact our support team. Thank you for watching this tutorial.